Hello, I'm Leon Hawthorne. My guest today is an award-winning British author whose latest book takes us on a road trip. Hello, I'm David Whitehouse. Uh, I'm the author of a book called Mobile Library and you are watching BookZone. David, thanks for joining me. This book depicts an adventure. Tell us more about Mobile Library. Uh, Mobile Library is the story of a young boy called Bobby Nuscu who has, um, for many reasons, has a terrible life. He's quite alone. Uh, and soon his only friend becomes a woman that he meets who lives down the road from him who equally is having a bad time and is equally in need of companionship. And though they're quite an unlikely pairing, what they do is they escape together in the Mobile Library where she works and have a kind of a road trip of sorts, a kind of tragicomic road trip across Britain. So your lead character is a 12-year-old home alone boy who meets a single mother. These are rather unconventional families and relationships. Why? The, the book is about family really, it's a, but it's about family not in, in the non-traditional sense, it's about family being where you find it. I think that um, it's more and more common these days for people to find family elsewhere, you're not necessarily calling your mother at the end of the night to tell, tell her how your day went, you might be tweeting it, your family might be on the internet. Um, in the case of the characters in the book, they find family in their friendship with each other really, they come together that way. So the boy Bobby discovers a love of books in the mobile library of the title. So is this book a plea for boys to put down their playstations and start reading? It is I guess, it's, but it's, it's about how you can broaden the horizons of your imagination through reading and how your imagination might eventually be your escape um, and that you might be able to turn what you take from books into something better in your life. And not just books, just, just, uh, just that expanding of your horizons, I think. Your first novel, Bed, won the Betty Trask Award in 2012 and critics have described this book as heartrending and superbly written. So what are your hopes for Mobile Library? I'd quite like everyone in the world to buy it, <laughs> but um, I, just, I just hope really that people find in it the, the messages we've talked about, about escape and, and, and love, and, um, and it's, that it's a positive, uplifting book about an unusual group of people that books aren't often about, um, which, is kind of, which is normal, everyday, um, working class people who certainly books about books aren't normally about. David Whitehouse, thank you very much indeed. No problem.